Welcome to Glasgow, Mr. McSwan. Thank you. Won't you take a seat? Thank you. Now then, what can I do for you? I have to be up here uh, for a while on personal business, and I wanted someone to manage my affairs down south. I was thinking of having a power of attorney drawn up. Now, what kind of business are you in? I'm in the property business. I have a number of properties in London. Well, you'll also need a solicitor in London uh, to enrol the power of attorney for you. Uh, yes, that should present no problem. Right then. The name of the gentleman you would like to grant this power of attorney to? Haig. John George Haig. A-I-G-H. And where does Mr. Haig reside? Kensington. Oh, a most fashionable area. Oh, you know London? My wife and I spent our honeymoon there. Terry's Roof Garden, Kensington High Street. Do they still have the flamingos? I imagine they've been removed for their own protection. <laughs> Very wise. The reason I need this power of attorney drawn up is that I might require Mr. Haig to sell my properties for me at a future date. I'll need Mr. Haig's signature. A letter signed by him. Yes, that's no problem. We're in constant touch. I will also need an accommodation address so that my parents can post my monthly allowance. I wonder if I might use your office. Of course. At Mr. Haig's full address, please. The Onslow Court Hotel, Kensington. My name is Haig. I have a room booked. As long as I've got a hotel. Ah, yes. I've selected a room for you overlooking the square. Will you be staying with us for long? Yes, I think I will. had a letter from Donald. He says he's fine. And he'll come back to London just as soon as the war's over. Well, he mentions you a lot, innit? Well, I know how much he must miss you both. I just hope he's doing the right thing. Look at it this way. At least he'll come home at the end of the war. A lot of sons won't. He, uh, did say to me he was thinking of selling his properties. <laughs> Over my dead body, John. 
And the houses are in our family. There are, well, there, there are sort of nest egg for the future. And the value has gotten our eyes after the war. Only a fool would sell now. Donald knows that. I don't think anyone knows what's going to happen after the war. Property could go down. Never. I do hope he's feeding himself all right up there. Look at you! Get in out of the rain! A girl your age shouldn't be waiting around on street corners. <laughs> and a man your age shouldn't be stuffing at them. <laughs> Well, you can afford to live here. I can't afford it yet. It makes a good business, you guys. Let my dad kill me if he knew I was still going out with you. No, I think he'd kill me first. When I'm 21, I shall be able to do exactly as I like. Oh, Jimmy, life's precious. Don't wish it all away. I just want to marry you and be happy. We are happy, aren't we? Mr. Haig, I just had to come over and meet your companion. Mrs. Durandeek, and this is... Oh, please, you must call me Olive. Olive, this is Gillian. Olive sits at the table next to me. How do you do? We're practically neighbours, you might say. Would it be presumptuous of me to ask you for a dance? Well, if you don't mind. <laughs> or should I? Shop right now. He didn't want to come home straight away, just in case I stood after him. Uh, uh, can't we uh, wait for Amy? I tell you what, Bill. Uh, why don't I drive you to see Donald now? Then while you're chatting to him, I'll come back here and fetch Amy. Right. <laughs> well, I uh, need my coat. Uh, yes. Don't want to catch a chill, do you? <laughs> He's ever so humble. Oh. Uh, 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 where is he? Just a minute. Oh, for Donald!